Honey, are you okay? Uh, oh dear. If you've ever been seasick before, you know just how much it sucks. There's no better way to ruin a day on the water than dry heaving sitting in the corner of the boat. Also, it's an illness that usually attracts zero to no sympathy because it's quite easy to prevent. So if you get yourself into this mess, it's usually on you to get yourself out. With all that said, this is how you prevent seasickness and how you can ease your way out of it if you do start it feeling coming on. Seasickness is caused by a conflict with the inner ear, which is where the human balance mechanism resides, and our eyes, where the inner ear is detecting a large variation of movement, both up and down and side to side, versus the eyes, which are detecting little to no movement at all, as the boat is moving along at the same pace and same direction as our body. It's this conflict in motion that causes the brain to detect that something is wrong and it believes that we are possibly hallucinating. And it's because of this that the body usually induces vomiting to try and remove all of those alleged toxins from our body. Preventing seasickness is different from person to person, but generally speaking, there are a number of pretty easy things you can do to minimize your chances of getting seasick on the water. Firstly, before heading out to sea, be sure that you're well rested and avoid drinking the night before. Maybe try eat a lighter meal as well, and if you are worried about getting seasick, it's a good idea to skip that morning coffee. When you're at sea as well, also try keep your fluid intake high. Drink lots of water and juices just to keep the body hydrated as getting seasick is usually quite a dehydrative process. It's also a good idea to take seasickness tablets about 20 to 30 minutes before getting on the boat. These are a preventative and not a cure. If you get on the boat, get seasick, taking seasickness tablets after the fact will do absolutely nothing for you. While most seasickness tablets are the same, one of our personal favorites are Nile Compounding Chemist's Escape Travel Sickness Tablets. Now these guys are seriously experts, and while they provide a premium product, if you are looking to grab some prevention tablets, the few extra dollars here are well spent. Also, if you start to feel seasick while you're on the boat, there are a number of things you can do to ease your motion sickness and hopefully bring yourself out of it while still out at sea. One of the most important things you can do is sit outside. Do not sit inside the cabin and if you are feeling sick, definitely do not go to the bathroom. Bathrooms on boats are the smallest, hottest, driest, most compact places there are and if you go there, we're not going to see you for the rest of the day. You're guaranteed to get sick. Head outside and head to the back of the boat. Now the reason we head to the back of the boat rather than the front is because as the boat moves, the front of the boat bounces up and down a lot, but the back of the boat stays quite steady. So head outside, get some fresh air, um, get some ocean and salt spray in your face and you'll be feeling a lot better. A few other things you can do as well, are keep your eyes on the horizon, looking down at the ground or at the water. It's not gonna help, it's where you're gonna start vomiting. Keep your eyes on the horizon and try and calm yourself. Have long, deep breaths and clear your mind of feeling sick. It's a mental game, really. Being seasick sucks, but it's not gonna harm you long-term and it's definitely not life-threatening. And our bodies do eventually grow accustomed to the feeling of being at sea. But just remember, if you are feeling seasick and you were originally planning on going snorkeling, swimming, or diving, no matter how bad you feel, please jump in the water. It sounds counterintuitive, but if anything on this list is a cure for seasickness, getting wet is it. That's all I got for this one. See you underwater and happy hunting.